Let me tell you why this app is a game changer for the field or the contractors out there. It's called All Better, and it comes with the best of both worlds. It helps you find customers, so it gets you the first money through the door, but also gives you resources and tools to help you run and grow your business for a fraction of the cost that you would pay someone else. So as soon as you sign up your account, one of the things you're going to start seeing is real potential jobs that are happening in your area. Some would come with a price like this one here. Some would be open to any bid. But let's take a look at some of how these job details look. It's a full transparency. You get to see the actual time when the client wants it, the details, and a video. This is here if they have any Basically, details they can share with you. Time. Sometimes you get pictures, sometimes you get videos. But you get the, you get the pictures. And what's also amazing about this is, one, the variety of services that they offer. So some of you jack of all trades, you do you do plumbing, electricals, and maybe you do plumbing and handyman. You get to pick different options and different choices. And anytime there is a job that happens to be fitting your criteria and skill set, it will be show on your phone. This is, by the way, you see this job, there's no cost to see, no cost to bid. Now, once you bid on a job and you want to get some more clarifications, there's a chat button here where you can actually ask the customers directly, like, well, okay, more details. Do you have a pictures of this? Can you send me some more information about this? And then even if, keep in mind, just because they wanted to do this on September the 26th, you can still maybe just suggest a different day. It's, everything is subject to negotiations. And it is one of the interesting thing about this. Right now, we're seeing jobs in Chicago. Well, let's say you're on the road and you happens to be in New York for next week. You can literally open up the app and see jobs in those areas and bid on those jobs just the same way. So you can pre-prime your trip. If you're going somewhere, make these bids, talk to these customers, schedule jobs. So when you're out there, you make some money. But here's the most wonderful thing about this app is the access to the entire management tool. Assuming you have a business and you have already clientele outside the platforms that you do business with, or perhaps a client you met through the All Better, but you want to do more business with and they like you, we welcome that. What happened is this management tools allow you here to store that client's data. Think of it as your CRM tool. And what essentially is, it gives you records of all the information, all the requests, and even if they have multiple properties, Let's say you work with a landlord and they have too many different properties. You can enter those properties and it becomes so much easier for you to create e simple quotes and invoice and get paid for all those works orders. We get the pictures. So assuming I'm going to get a client that wants to hire me and I need to write a quote. All I have to do is I go to that specific client and then I hit which property the service is going to take a place at. What's the detail of this order? It could be X, Y, Z, whatever that details might be. This is for internal purpose use only, so that we understand what's the scope of work. The item lines. This is so, again, as inventory management. Uh, if you have products and parts that you need to bring, you can add those here, put the quality, and then the system will track. And once you go out, they'll let you know that, hey, you need to stock up your inventory. But what's also cool about it, it tells you it's so much easier to make it to create a quote faster and simpler. Let's say I want to create, you know, replace a toilet uh, for, and I usually charge 375 or if there's a new items that you don't have, and this is the first time, you can always add it so you don't have to keep adding it every single time. It's there saved for you, so you could just hit the import button, and then it's right on the invoice. Well, let's say I want to get this guy replace the toilet, and you preset it at 375 uh, You can always change the price. For a specific customer, that's not going to change the price from the actual items as you add it to your inventory, but you can go up and down on the price however you see fit. You can change the quantity as well. If you want to add some more other items, let's say we want to do some tiles. Um, this is your price first, 10 feet. If you want to increase it, that's up to you. And of course, you have the options to give a discount, whether it's a percentage of the invoice or a dollar amount. But lastly, since we all know we're not a fan of big taxes, but uh, there's an option here for you to add your actual taxes. And as you can see here, the total lump sum gets counted uh, properly for you. If there's a deposit that needs to be requested, you can add it in here. And if there's any client's notes, notes from the client, you can enter it there here. Boom. So now we have a quote that is ready, that's been uh, set up. Two things that happen here. You can hit the send, review and send. And what this is going to do is going to get you a pre-drafted email and remember, because you have the email of the customer when you add them to your CRM for the first time, 
we get to put their email right up here. So you just hit the send button and then they get to see the copy of the quotes in a PDF. Or if the client is physically present in front of you, you can get them to approve the quotes right there. Here, you can get their signature. Let's call it AB. Now we have a quote that is approved. But watch this. If I go back to the notes section here, is a PDF with the quotes has already been drafted and made for you. In this quotes, it is branded to your business. It has your client's information, and it also includes the client signature. How cool is that? And then, of course, all the item lines, just as you have prepped them into that quotes. So that's usually the first step. Now that we approve the quotes, we can go ahead and just convert this into a job. And what happened, all those item lines being carried over here. So it has nothing changed, but command. At the same time, you still have a full control of editing this, this job order as you wish. All you need some sort of another details, X, Y, Z. This is just for internal, so you know what everything is. The customers don't get to see these job details. It's just for your personal only. Um, you get to choose to schedule when this work needs to take a place. Uh, what time does it need to start? Now, there are some situations where there are jobs that could be repeated uh, bi-weekly, monthly, however that might be. If it's a landscaping or cleaning, you can choose one of those. Let's say if we do every Thursday, this also gives you a chance at what period of time this is going to be repeated. Six months, one year, however you want to. But let's just go ahead and keep this simple. No repeat. The other fantastic tool about this, this allows you to outsign jobs to specific employees in your organizations. So let's say I want to do this, me and my guy here. So what happened is Joe's going to get notified into his app as well, which by the way, he doesn't have access to everything that you see, but he only see what he's scheduled for him and vice versa. But it's also what's unique about this item thing here, which I'm going to show you here in a minute. So now that we have a job, it's called, there's this note section, which is a sort of a collaborations. Anything's associated with that job. If I go to, let's say, I want to take a picture of some of the problems that I found, either you or one of the employees is on job site. And they upload photos from the job site. Let's call this again, X, Y, Z. Remember, you can just name this anywhere, anything you want. And then if they actually input those and link to that particular job, any person working on that project will in real time be able to see that picture and real time see those notes. But you as a but the business owner be able to see this all the time. This has created a really good uh, team collaborations and communications between the members. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start this visit. Now, remember, all the item lines get carried over, all the team, all the job details, who's the client. So if you need to make hit the phone call button to call, and of course, all the notes are carried over. I'm going to go ahead and hit the start the timer. So what this is going to do is going to track the time you're spending on that work order. Um, and you sometimes these are data that small businesses don't really uh, get to uh, experiment with, but we'll show you where you can find that and how useful could that be to you. You can always stop the timer if you're on lunch break or if you have to travel to pick up some other parts, but once you go back, you can always hit the start timer. But once we hit that, that and we stop the timer, we can complete this visit. Now I can choose to complete the job. Remember, if this is a repeated, um, task like we talked about previously, or if this is just one time, however you want to be, that's your choice. So I'm going to go ahead and just say complete the job. As soon as that happens, we get prompt to create an invoice. I'm not sure about you, but every business likes to get paid. I'm going to go ahead and create an invoice. Remember, all the data gets carried over. Who's the client, the address, the time. And of course, you have a net term payments here. You could choose to be 15, 30, 35 days, however you, however you conduct your business. <clears throat> all the item lines are carried over. Of course, always, 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 you have the options to add some more items to this, to this finalized thing. So let's say, you know, we did some extra labor work. Great. We can add that into the final invoice. And then finally, we can just hit the done button. And now we're creating an actual invoice for this particular client. So let me show you here another cool thing about the keep track on every customer. When you access a customer uh, data, you're going to be able to see here, it shows you what is the unpaid balance. So at any given time, you know who is paying you and who hasn't paying you, how much money is this been, uh, still out there. And under the billing section here, you're able to filter between paid and unpaid invoices. And these are some of the unpaid invoices here. 
all I can do right now is uh, collect deposit. I can get the payments directly from a clients and I can just hit the credit card and input the credit card information and process the payments. It's so simple. Remember, this is one app that gives you access of the entire world. Now, assuming your business is slow and you have some open times, guess what? You can hit the button here back and now you can go back to the market and see what other jobs available for you or your team to conduct. It's app, it's called All Better and the website is allbetterapp.com. Check it out.